Okay, so I thought I'd do a video on how I uh, have both my security cameras set up. Most people with a Hike Vision uh, security system uh, probably have a, a DVR. I don't. I just use the built-in camera interface. So, and let me show you how that works. I've got these icons on my desktop right now. So I've got one for my driveway, one for the street, and. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is the the uh, street camera for this demonstration, and I'll show you how the you normally log into the camera. So you're going to open the uh, interface up, and whenever it loads, you're going to put in username and password. And you're going to log in and there you have it now I don't like doing that every time I just want to view my cameras I don't want to have to log in uh, through the interface every time so what I've done is I've created I've used VLC and I've just created an icon on my desktop that when I click this it just pops open and it streams the live video feed. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to set that up. Because it took me a while to figure it out. I finally figured it out through going to multiple websites, getting bad information. Uh, I tried numerous ways of doing it. A lot of people saying doing it this way, doing it that way, and I never could get it to work. But I finally hit the magic uh, set up. So I'm going to show you what you got to do to be able to get this to work and create that you can create a, a icon for every camera that you have. So you can just quickly click on it and it'll open it up. And you can you can open up multiple uh, you know multiple cameras. So there's the street view, there's the uh, driveway view. And that's my son's car. That literally all those leaves literally fell in the past about an hour. I just pulled the car up there about an hour ago and anyway you guys don't care about that so yeah see all those leaves falling no way almost looks like snow okay here we go so what you're going to do and I'm going to show you the format okay so let me show you the format that I finally found that works and this is it so what you've got to type in, and, I'll, and I'm going to show you where all this goes. But first you've got to know the port. I'm sorry. Well, you got to know the port. This is default. This is what the cameras are normally set at, 554. That's the RTPS, RTSP port. Um, and that's just a default port for RTSP, uh, I guess, streaming. But you got to know your IP address for each camera. So this particular camera uh, is 192.168.1.65. Very important that you know that. And then the uh, port that the camera is streaming on. This particular one is 554. Both these cameras are 554. The only difference is the driveway camera I've got set at 64. The street view camera is 65. Uh, this cam1 is the username to log into the camera. This hike vision is the password to log into the camera. So when you saw me log in just a minute ago, what I put right here was cam1 and the password was hike vision and I know you can't see the password but trust me well there we go hike vision and that is what logs into this camera right now so this is the format RTSP colon forward slash forward slash cam1 colon hike vision at 
colon five five four forward slash streaming forward slash channels forward slash one. Now if you put channels and you change that one to a two, you will stream your sub channel. Channel one on my camera is set at the highest resolution, which is what I want to which is what I want to view. Channel two is set at a lower resolution. I don't want to view that one. So let me show you where this is going to go. I've already copied, and I, let me give you some advice. Keep this format. I, I've got this just in Notepad, and I've got it saved. That way you can copy it and refer back to it if, if you ever need to add a camera, because whenever you open these up, it does not show the format of the, of the uh, username and password. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a minute. So I'm going to close this out. Now you're going to open up just regular VLC and you're going to have this. You're going to click media. Uh, it looks a little blown out but you're going to go down to stream. You're going to get this window you're going to select network you're going to type in that format that I just showed you the RTSP blah 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 all the way to channels one make sure that cam one is your user ID and hike vision is your password you're going to click stream it's going to show right here the default, what you see here is, is all you need. Click Next. Right here, click Display Locally. On this drop-down box, you're going to select RTSP. Next. Right here, I uncheck Activate Transcoding. Um, VLC is already capable of displaying H.265, which is the format that I've got my cameras streaming at. Now you can, I've, I've selected 264, I've selected a few of these just testing, they all stream, but I go ahead and select the same format that my cameras are set at. In this case it's 265. Next, you don't need to select anything on this page. Click stream and it should pop right up. Now, you're not done yet. If you close this window out, you'll have to go through all that, all that over again. You don't want to have to do that. So you're going to come up here to Media, Save Playlist to File. So you're going to click that. Make sure that it's selected on Focus. Uh, let me get it to focus. Stand by. There we go. That XSPF file extension. That's what you need. Type in whatever you want to call it. Um, and in this case, you know, I just go to going to go to the desktop, and we'll call it Cam One. Save. Now, what you've got, you've got a file on your desk, desktop. When you double click it, it'll pop up and it'll automatically log in and stream your, your deal. And whenever I say copy the information somewhere where you can refer back to it, the reason is because if you look up here, it doesn't have, it doesn't have your, uh, username or password so if you forget the format you may remember your username and password but you won't you may not remember the format that you've got to type in to uh, be able to put it back in because if you go back and you open up VLC and you go right back to the the same steps that I just said go to network it doesn't it doesn't keep it 
even if you click the down arrow, it, it's it's not there. So you're going to have to know to type that exact format in if you want to be able to log in and, and be able to just click and, and have a nice quick, uh, you know, view of your cameras. Anyway, that's the way I've set up the... Uh, my cameras. If I've got to log in and make any changes, I go ahead. I've got thumbnails right here. You know, I'll go ahead and log in and and uh, you know change them. But you know, ninety five percent of the time, all I want to do is view what's going on outside in front of my house. So I usually have just one of these up on one window and uh, working on the other. But just a real quick tip on how to set up VLC to stream your Hike Vision cameras. And I'm sure you could probably do that same format on any security camera. Anyway, that's about all I got. Take care.